All right, welcome back. This is the next Pro Tools tips, how to convert sample CDs into a form you can use in your Pro Tools sessions. And I'm going to create the Pro Tools project. It's a new session. And because I'm working with CD audio, I'm going to choose a 16-bit uh, bit depth, and I'm going to choose 44.1. Create a new folder, CD import project. So now I have the uh, project set up. Option, semicolon, brings up the workspace browser, and my external drive holds my loops, and I've already imported or you know, basically ripped the CD into the WAV format, and I have it. And I've already done some of these, but I'm going to go to disk two, swing in jack. There's some kind of cool um, loops here. This one with a little bit of reverb on it might be inspiring. So we'll go with that. I'm going to drag that into the tracks area and that creates the track. And if I zoom in, you'll see that these different segments, I think they're two measures. To get these into individual files is not difficult. I'm going to show you how that's done. So I'm going to zoom in toward the end of the first waveform going to make sure slip mode is on and I'm turning on tab to transient and now when I tab it'll go to right here now let me play this a little bit and you'll hear this is an extra kick and these sample CDs are often in this format where there's an extra kick to indicate that that's the out point of the loop so for the loop we want to basically get this piece of it so I'm going to uh, cut the waveform right at that kick. One thing I wanted to point out is you need to have this A to Z. This is keyboard focus mode turned on for any of my editing tips to work. So tab to transient is on. I'm going to cursor to right about here and hit tab. And that puts the cursor right there. And if I zoom up, you'll see it's right at the leading edge of that downbeat. Now I hit B and that will um, put a cut right there. So at this point I can pull that out of the way and here's the part that I um, have now separated and I'll loop over that. So we have a nice loop point. One thing we don't know yet is the tempo. And so I'm going to use the same tip from the last couple of videos. I turn off tab to transient and I'll tab to the end of the region and I'll hit command I. And this way I can put in a bar and beat marker. We know that two measures have just gone by. So this is the downbeat of measure three. And that sets the tempo here to 101.9. Now let's uh, go back and work on the next one. So I can just put my uh, cursor anywhere in here now and hit, I've got to turn tab to transient back on, tab to the transient, and I can hit B to break that. And if I go to grid mode, I can uh, pull this right back to here, and now I'll go um, slip mode. have it a transient B. There might be a more efficient ways to do this. I just clicked here, tab to transient B. I'll click on this piece and delete it. Now before I do that, I'm going to go to shuffle mode because you see that just takes the that hole out. Tab B. Tab B. And 
I think you get the idea. B, tab B. All right, I'll do one more and uh, then eventually this will get a little bit tedious. B, and I'll just cut the whole rest of the end of that off. I'm gonna, also gonna do a command I here. And this is supposed to be a measure 11, so I'm going to do another tempo change here to get that perfectly on 11. Over these these pieces that we've got, we've got four of these sections. Uh, the tempo is about 101.9. So let's rewind using Enter and play this back. Now, if I kept this up, I would find there's more variation. A lot of those loops sound about the same. This one here sounds more like a fill. So the next thing I'm going to do is rename these as a group. To do that, I'll go into the uh, regions pane here, which is useful for this sort of thing. I've selected here, and so the um, you know the different regions are selected uh, because I have the preferences set that way. And what I'm going to do is use um, auto rename. And um, this was called, and I'm going to start at number one. And we'll use two digits, which is just sort of the way I do this and rename that. So now if we look what I what we've just done, with, we've got swing and jack 01, 02, 03, 04, 05. So that's kind of, you know, nicely organized. Now, while those are still selected, I'm going to save these using export regions as files. And that brings up this dialog. I'm going to save these as WAV files. They'll be 16-bit. Um, we'll leave this tweak head as the default. And then we need to choose where they go. OK, scroll down, and I'm going to create a new folder I'm going to prefer, preface it with the tempo, or the approximate tempo. And then now that's selected, and this is fine. And then we just do export. And in just a couple of seconds, they're in there. And if I hit Command, uh, or rather Option, semicolon, and browse into my loops, I will find un under 102 my swing and jack loops. Now I can audition them here, and you'll see the waveforms. And now these are ready to go on uh, the next project. This is really just to demonstrate this. I'm not suggesting that you go back and spend um, hour after hour doing this with any old sample CDs. However, you can do this also with your own projects and your own playing, and that's when it starts to get interesting, and we'll be talking about that in a future tips. So this was the Pro Tools Tips from Lilac Writer. We'll talk to you again soon.